Authorities in Australia are trying to block a Black Lives Matter protest in Sydney scheduled for Saturday, citing the risk of a coronavirus outbreak. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian explained the decision to take legal action on Friday. The matter now rests with the state's Supreme Court. This is because the protesters could not guarantee adherence to the health orders. They could not guarantee safe social distancing and simply the number of protests protesters far exceeds, far exceeds the health orders and we can't afford to have exceptions for anybody. Police in New South Wales originally approved the protest on the understanding that there would be fewer than 500 participants. Organizers now expect thousands of people to attend. The last minute decision from the New South Wales government came after Prime Minister Scott Morrison asked people not to go. So for all of those Australians who couldn't attend the funeral of a family member, or couldn't see a loved one in a nursing home, or a veteran who couldn't remember their fallen colleagues by attending a war memorial service on Anzac Day. I think all Australians owe all those other Australians a great duty of responsibility. And I say to them, don't go. Not because you shouldn't express your view, find another way to express your view. A protest in Melbourne is still scheduled to take place with state police approval. It's set to emphasize Australian Indigenous people, including the deaths of Aboriginal men in custody. Victoria Premier Daniel Andrews has urged people not to attend.